I think it is a really exciting time to be in nephrology here at the University of Michigan. We're really starting to hit our stride in terms of research. Here in particular, we're at the cutting edge with programs like our precision medicine program, where we're really looking at ways to individualize treatment of kidney patients. So in terms of how we go about discovering novel treatments for patients, we have a very strong translational pipeline meaning that all the way from bench research, which is essentially basic science research, and how we actually take it to the individual patient all the way at the bedside. And this paradigm for bench to bedside has been there for a very long time, but one of the new things that has come up is the bedside back to the bench in order to understand the complications that are associated with diseases and going back to the patient again, sort of in an iterative fashion. So one example of precision medicine in kidney disease is trying to identify urinary biomarkers which might better predict who's going to have a poor outcome. We found a urine marker called urinary EGF. And what we think urinary EGF is able to do is to um, not only predict someone's current kidney function, but also to predict someone's decline over time. And the EGF story is very exciting because our collaborators across the world now have measured this molecule in more than 20,000 people and have produced a multitude of evidence independently replicating this specific finding and thereby also validating that this approach really can help to understand uh, our patients better in the concept of precision medicine. Yeah, I hear you have some very exciting results to show me. We have been studying uh, lysosomal storage disorders and have been um, exploring a hypothesis for the treatment of these disorders called substrate reduction by identifying reversible inhibitors of this enzyme we have been able to uh, discover and develop a drug currently approved for Gaucher disease type 1. Patients with rare diseases, particularly those with monogenic disorders, are in a sense a gift to uh, people conducting discovery research and uh, they help us understand in humans the importance of the pathways that are affected in their diseases, including those involving the kidney. The Kidney Precision Medicine Program is a key initiative from the National Institute of Health to understand how kidneys fail. So KPMP has developed now a protocol to safely obtain biopsies from patients for resource purposes. It also has a unique feature that uh, patients are integrated from the get-go in how we do research here. Yeah, I agree. I think one of the big strengths of the Kidney Precision Medicine Program is really the true multidisciplinary approach. So we have clinician scientists, we have basic scientists, we have geneticists, ethicists, and I think most importantly patients. So the patients that are involved in KPMP have been involved right from the start, and I think they've been an invaluable partner in making sure that the study we're doing is meaningful um, and um, acceptable to patients and actually that they are excited about. So many of us, I think, as physicians came into uh, the field wanting to help people. Um, and I think that having that high quality clinical care can always be the goal. And, and, and one of the all products of that is our you know, U.S. News and World Report rankings. You know, we're the t number five hospital in the nation, as well as uh, number eight in the Division of Nephrology in the country. Our inpatient dialysis program um, and our CRRT program is a program of excellence. The acute dialysis unit um, is a state-of-the-art unit uh, comprised of eight dialysis stations. It's staffed by highly skilled nurses, technicians, social workers, and case managers. Our uh, continuous renal replacement therapy uh, program is unique uh, in that it provides personalized approach uh, to delivering CRRT, where calcium dosing and citrate dosing and the blood flow are personalized 
we have completely eliminated uh, citrate toxicity in uh, the sickest of the patients who traditionally are excluded from such therapies. One other particular area of clinical excellence that really merges with our research excellence is in glomerular diseases. We have several um, nationally recognized faculty that have a particular interest in the glomerular diseases and as a result we have developed a dedicated glomerular diseases clinic and so far we've had uh, very exciting results and uh, really excited about the opportunities that we're able to provide our patients through these uh, clinics and these trials. The Kidney Epidemiology and Cost Center, or KEC as we call it, it's a multidisciplinary collaborative center. And the purpose of uh, the Kidney Epidemiology and Cost Center is primarily to monitor the state of kidney health throughout the country using large population level databases. Uh, the projects that I'm mainly involved with at the Kidney Epidemiology Center include the US Renal Data System. It's a project that uh, monitors kidney disease in all its aspects for all patients with end-stage kidney disease. So it's a 100% registry, which is very unique. One of the great things about being in this university is our ability to really uh, do cutting-edge research uh, in the setting of providing also high-quality patient care, uh, which will enable us, which my hope is that really enable us to give new treatments uh, eventually to reduce the burden of kidney disease uh, in the world.